Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm an attorney with Goldman and Associates, and we provide a lot of information. We put it out there for uh, the public, for our clients, for our would-be clients, uh, for the public in general, uh, to learn about family law and different aspects of family law. If you find this helpful, of course, subscribe and you'll continue to get our videos. It'd be great. Today I want to talk about how does one make their case stronger? Maybe you've got a case pending, you don't feel your lawyer is making it as strong as possible. Or maybe you were handling it yourself and you want to know how do I, how do I make my uh, case more appealing to the court? Because that's really what we're talking about. It's not about strength, it's about getting the court to see things your way. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple of things. Number one, the court, in order to side with you, has to believe that you are coming from a place of good faith and good judgment. The minute the court thinks you show poor judgment, or the minute the court thinks you act in bad faith, the court's already not listening to what you're saying. So if, for example, you uh, have a history of taking a lot of the savings and going out and blowing it at the casino, which you have every right to do as long as it's not during the divorce, the court may look at that and say, here's a, a woman or a man who displays poor judgment. So when they tell me, judge, we'd like you to do it this way, that's a function of their judgment, and that's a poor judgment. I don't see it that way. So, number one, you got to do things displaying poor judgment. And then number two, you want to make your case stronger? Show some good faith. Show that you're acting in the best overall interest of your child, for example. You want the court to adjudge that you should be the custodial parent? Don't parentally kidnap your case and, and your kid and try to create a case where you keep your child from the mom. Don't parentally try to keep the child from the father. Don't do that. Show good faith. Participate in appropriate parenting time. You're do so, doing something for yourself. You want to take the kid extra? Offer the other side an extended weekend to make up for your weekend. Show that you're trying to work within the boundaries of the law and with the confines of good faith. If you do that, it engenders a, a, a feeling with the judge that you're a, an above board person who's trying to do the right thing. That will make everything that you bring to the court to appear stronger than it actually is. On the flip side, if you're a person who operates in bad faith, if you're sort of a, like this, if you're a person who's always trying, as the court sees it, to get away with something, if you're trying to hide assets, then even your good points that you bring before the court will be tainted and will be in some way toxified by your conduct. And you know what happens? The court will look at your, your, your good arguments and it's going to look at it as if it's coming from a bad place and even those will not be persuasive best way to be strong in your case, the best way to convince the court of what you want, operate from a position of good faith and be above board. If you do those things, the likelihood of success in, on the merits of your case is significantly greater. If you have questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.